On April 25th, 2013, Eric Fisher's life as he knew it changed forever. It was years of hard work culminated into one night. Before Fisher walked on stage, he was on the red carpet for one final pre-draft interview talking about his emotions. Hey, this is awesome, you know, it's my dream, uh, my goal, and it's, it's about to come true. I'm here at Radio City now, and uh, really excited to get my name called. As it turned out, the wait wasn't long, as Eric Fisher's name would be learned by many throughout the country on this night, as NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell took center stage. With the first pick in the 2013 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Eric Fisher, tackle, Central Michigan. With that selection, Eric Fisher made history. His rise to the top was officially complete, going from a Chippewa to a Chief. Fisher became just the fourth offensive lineman to ever be taken number one overall in the 34th Chippewa to be drafted in the NFL, dating all the way back to 1946 when Ben Wall was selected by the Detroit Lions. It was also just the fourth time since 2000 that a non-quarterback was taken with the number one selection. Additionally, Fisher helped move Central Michigan into an exclusive club as one of just three non-automatic qualifying schools to ever produce a number one overall pick. I, I, I can't even process what's happening right now. This is a dream come true. The fact that I was the number one pick is, I just can't, I can't understand what's going on right now. Um, but, you know, what an honor, what an honor um, and a great opportunity. And I, I'm pumped to be a chief. The sheer emotion from Eric Fisher was special to see on one of the biggest nights of the year in the NFL. Several Hall of Famers and Super Bowl champions were on hand for the night's festivities. Primetime himself, Deion Sanders was in attendance and even he was taking in the experience. First of all, this is unbelievable from 1989 when I was drafted to now. It's simply incredible. I'm so proud of these guys. They're impeccably dressed, They're handsome young men, getting ready to fulfill their life dreams. Dion's alter ego, Leon Sandcastle, showed up as well. With big stars like Dion, you knew more were to follow. How about Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Namath? Broadway Joe knew this was the night for the offensive lineman. I think it's wonderful that people uh, appreciate them much more. There was a time that uh, they didn't get any recognition, and then when uh, they got recognition, it was only on a penalty. So uh, I, I think it's wonderful. They are the studs. This was a night where that couldn't be any more true with three of the top four picks going to offensive linemen. That was the first time since 1967 that's happened with Luke Jokel going to the Jacksonville Jaguars at number two and Lane Johnson heading to the Philadelphia Eagles at number four. The biggest stud of them all was Eric Fisher, as he was the top selection and the one who coined this year's big night as a meat and potatoes draft. All in all, eight of the first 10 picks in the draft went to offensive or defensive linemen. Two-time Super Bowl champion and current CBS Sports commentator, Phil Simms feels the game has evolved. It's amazing how the league has changed where so many offensive linemen are going to go so high in a draft, but it tells you about today's game. It's quarterbacks, receivers, and what do, you, what do they need? Protection, so the off offensive linemen, they're good, and they deserve to go high. One guy who is a big believer in offensive linemen going high is former Super Bowl 34 champion Orlando Pace. Pace was drafted number one overall back in 1997 and knows that number one honor is pretty special. That's always a great, a great opportunity, man, for offensive lineman to uh, get a chance to get selected number one. I know 16 years ago I was that offensive lineman, so anytime you see offensive lineman that highly regarded, it's always a, a, a good draft. It was most definitely that with Fisher getting the top spot. Now Fisher will head off to Kansas City where he will join former teammate Frank Zombo and help protect newly acquired Alex Smith. Throughout this draft process, Joe Staley, one of Smith's Former teammates in San Francisco served as one of Fisher's biggest mentors. Someone who's been there and done that, you know, he's just played in the Super Bowl, um, so you really can't do much more than that. And uh, he, he's been such a help, you know, giving me so much advice. That advice, along with Fisher's blue-collar, workmanlike attitude, pushed Fisher all the way to the top. 
I've, I've just had a chip on my shoulder for so long, and uh, you know, I think that's why I am where I am. Um, and I'm a perfectionist in everything I do. I want to be first in everything I do. Um, and I'm a very competitive person. Those are the kind of characteristics you need to have for success at the next level. Hall of Fame running back Emmett Smith has this piece of advice to Fisher and the future stars of the NFL. Today is a very special day. Enjoy this moment. But as we say in football, you got to forget about what you did the week before. You got to get prepared for the next week. So after this draft, your work truly begins. And then once it begins, you got to redefine it every year. You got to stay hungry and find a way to stay hungry. Because making a lot of money, making it to the National Football League is one thing. Staying here is another. Fisher plans on staying in the NFL for a long time to come and has already set some lofty goals for next season. My goal now is to obviously, you know, be a Pro Bowler my uh, rookie year, and um, you know, it's such an opportunity. This has been my uh, my dream for so long, and um, you know, I'm really excited. After taking in the experiences of the last four months alone, you can tell that not only is Eric Fisher a great player, but he's a great person. It's clear the big winners on Thursday night were the Kansas City Chiefs as they selected former Central Michigan tackle Eric Fisher with the number one pick in the 2013 NFL Draft.